In Akron, a charter amendment on the November ballot, Issue 17, is getting strong reaction from both sides. As News Channel 5's Bob Jones reports, if passed, Issue 17 would allow the city to borrow money from school construction projects and use it to fund safety forces and snow removal. An $800 million master plan calls for 46 Akron schools to either be built or renovated by 2014. That includes Schumacher Academy on the city's west side. The key is we decided that we were going to support children. In August, Mayor Don Plasquelic announced a plan that would shift about $13 million in income tax revenue from school projects and instead help cover the costs of police, fire, and snow removal over the next three years. The one-third reallocation would generate about $4.3 million a year. It's now called Issue 17. School Board President Reverend Curtis Walker says the money will be paid back and projects would not be delayed. The board voted 6-1 to one last night to support the issue. They're not taking any money from school. The money was not ours to begin with. It was, a, it was a, the city. It's, it's the public's money. Still, the idea of moving the money doesn't sit well with some Akron voters. This is just a diversion. And whenever you start a tax, whether you're making a new tax or not, it never ends. It keeps going. So now we'll just need more money from someplace else to prop the schools up. I always think it's a bad idea to be borrowing from the schools. It seems like everybody wants to take things out of schools' back pockets. The city says issue 17 protects public safety and it's not a tax increase, but it would extend income tax collection for school projects another five years to 2038. In Akron, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. The city brought back laid off police officers and firefighters this year after reaching agreements with both unions. But if issue 17 fails, Akron could lay off police officers as early as next year if contract talks don't produce another agreement.